Wow, Skittles ice cream lollies. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing the Skittles Cooler ice cream lolly thing. I got this from Tesco, it was three pounds, quite expensive, which puts them out to be one pound each. And I basically just hurt myself on the packaging because when I tore into it there's a massive strip of glue there. It's annoying. Anyway, this is a Skittles Cooler, is what it's called. Uh, made with fruit, fruity flavoured ice cream with candies wrapped in refreshing strawberry sorbet. Interesting. Oh, God, yeah, be careful when you open into it. Big blobs of hard glue that act like little plastic, like, yeah, hard bits. So that's actually made me bleed. That's literally made me bleed, so be careful. Right, looks like this in the inner packaging, so they're not, not branded packets, which I sort of expect from being £3. I expect the inside ones to be branded. Hmm, smells right. Right, let's give it a go. Skittles Cooler. Oh, it's very cold. Oh, that is feverishly cold. That is colder than the depths of space. You just want to gyrate the tongue. Work the tongue muscles. Oh, it's quite a thick layer of um, strawberry sorbet on the outside there. The first criticism I'd say is it tastes too, too unlike skills. I wouldn't say it's too natural, because I don't think it's a particularly natural taste in strawberry. It's quite a jammy taste in strawberry. I'm hoping the inside tastes like skills. Should I try and take a bite out of it and give myself bloody extreme brain freeze? <laughs> Gives you a good look of how thick the sorbet is. It's sort of thicker than a Solera. Very thick, isn't it, guys? What's that? Oh, the inside is much more Skittlesy, but that strawberry sorbet is way too dominant. Way too dominant, considering it doesn't taste like Skittles. If they made the sorbet on the outside taste like Skittles, there wouldn't be a problem, but it doesn't taste like Skittles. Let's try and get another bit of this ice cream in the middle. Yeah, the ice cream in the middle is really nice. And um, the little bits of candy, you might be able to hear me crunching on. Mmm. Oh, they're brilliant. Those little clusters are brilliant. Like, they're like crunchy, you know, those crunchy, um, I don't know what they call them. On mint ones, they call them mint crispies that you can get from ice cream parlours when they sprinkle the, the little crunches on top of the ice cream. They've got the same texture as that, but nice Skittles flavour. Yeah. Oh, man. That ice cream in, in the middle... What on earth just came out of my mouth? That was like ice cream in the middle or something. Ridiculous human being. Uh, that ice cream in the middle is amazing. Really, really nice. But I think this is ruined by the outside massively. It's not a bad strawberry flavour. It's just a strawberry flavour that I don't really like. It doesn't taste anything like Skittles. And because it's so thick, it means it's overpowering as well. So even if you were to get a bite of everything, a little bit of Skittles flavour comes through but it's absolutely dominated by the outside. That is a crying, crying, crying shame in my opinion. Hideously disappointing. Mm. Oh man. I would be demolishing this entire thing in two seconds flat if it tasted like the inside because that inside mixed fruit, mixed Skittle flavour is sweet, creamy, little bit muted as well. And it's got those amazing texture of the little crunchies. A bit of crunch. But, what percentage is the sorbet? 44%. Basically half of it is the sorbet. And it completely dominates and ruins it. I would give it two stars. If it was just the inside, I'd probably give it five stars. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Uh, make your own minds up, because I've heard that some people really like it. So... Maybe you'll be one of the ones that does like it. Thanks for watching. If you've not listened to our podcast before, Frock Unwrapped, give it a try. It's usually really funny. And uh, I say usually really funny. If we're aiming to be funny, we are hilarious, yeah? But we had a recent episode, Healthy Eating, where it got really serious and really deep, guys. Um, but then the episode after that was like the funniest one we've ever done. So swings and roundabouts. Right.
Bye! Come into me a bit. Lean on me. Oh, we've done that. <laughs> Sorry, mate.